Hey everybody, welcome back to what I'm hoping is going to be a special episode. I have with me today Matt Vavrock from Matt Vavrock Fishing on YouTube. So he's a fellow musky nut just like we are. We picked a lake that Dave and I like to fish a lot. Unfortunately, Dave's at work today, so it sucks to be Dave. There's always fish on the rocks in this lake because of the current. So Matt and I are going to just kind of keep playing off of each other lure-wise. We'll be trying to kind of change up and make sure that we're complimenting each other on the water. And other than that, let's see if we can get her done. And we'll be back with you guys when we got one in the bag. Switch it up. Oh, I'm with you. Oh, I got one. Took one good look at it. God dang it, dude. Why? <laughs> oh, I got him. Oh, a... He's following up. Jeez, oh, what the heck happened there? Okay, guys. Matt's been running the Ridgeway crank at the front, and he's been getting a lot of looks. And he just had one rolling. I've been throwing a tube, but I was like, I need something that'll hang a little better because that's what Matt's kind of moving fish on. But I'm not going to run the same bait as him. So I threw on, guess what? Lake X Toad. And Matt fish rolled away. Jeepers, creepers. <laughs> Hold Matt's on, Glenn. I got I got I got to change. I got to clean this guy off. Okay. <laughs> All right, you're good. <laughs> oh, man. So Matt's fish rolled away. I seen him go under the boat. I'm like, I'm just going to... And it, it clearly... It clearly disengaged from Matt. So I didn't feel like I was taking his fish. And I just dropped the toad down. And I thought, well, if he's there, he's going to take a look at it. He swung on it. I think he kind of missed with his mouth and we kind of foul hooked him, but he was pretty aggressive. I'm not even sure where we hooked him. Not a big one, but that's the one that raised on Matt. You guys will see that cool footage. And the thing hit at Lake X Toad, that's what they do. I mean, all the time. No one ever deserves them up to you. can earn them. Yep, he can earn them, big time. You're on? Holy yeah. smokes, dude. Can yeah, walk here? Oh. He freaking cranked that thing. Yes! Got it. Oh. oh, dude. Oh, we got it done. Thank goodness. Okay, guys. I got one jacked up Matt Vavrock right behind me. Let's go. He, he's been casting the Ridgeway. He's like Mr. Ridgeway himself. You guys watch him. You know that he casts these things. He hasn't been getting down on himself, but he's like, oh man, these fish are just not coming. I'm like, you just got to put the time in. And <laughs> we, literally, we literally just had the conversation. Yeah, and bam, it spot. hit. <laughs> I'm going to unhook this one. I'll let Matt get his nerves back a second here, and we're going to get this one out of the net. This is going to be wreck and rock uh, bump board worthy, so we'll be right back. Um, beautiful fish in the bag. I don't know how big she is. We're going to find out. Bump board's wet. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you for getting her unhooked as I was like shaking like a leaf because, yeah, it's just been... It's just been a really good day, and I've been working really hard for really nice fish, and this is this is that. Yeah, we got a pretty solid fish here. Don't do it. All right. Really beautiful, thick, 
Canadian ski. My God, dude, what a nice fish. <laughs> that is a beauty. Let's get her on the wreck and rock board here. Oh yeah, she's happy with you. Yeah, she is. You're right, Glenn. Oh, oh gosh. She's 40, 40s. almost touching 46. Yep, 46. You know what, guys? We'll take a fish like that on any lake. Just a beautiful, beautiful fish. My good Lord in heaven. Yep, that is awesome. Okay, we're going to get her back. So what do you got in the net, Matt? We got a nice tiger in here. Absolutely cranked the Ridgeway. He's kind of not very happy with me right now, but look at those chompers, man. That's awesome. All right, well, let's get a quick look at this guy. Oh, don't do it, buddy. We'll just bump him here quick because okay. he's being squirrely. What, 36 and a half? 36 and a half. Cool, cool. Nothing wrong with that. Not at all. Nice. Beautiful. Is that your first Canadian tiger, Matt? First Canadian tiger. Oh, he's feisty. He's being a squirrel, we just <laughs> trying to get. Just one. hold still for one picture, there, bud. <laughs> oh, there we go. He just wants to. Yeah, there he's this chilling one. a little bit. Awesome fish. Nice. Thank you, Glenn. Gorgeous, gorgeous Beauty. fish. All right, let's get this one back. Hey guys, welcome back to the cave. Had an awesome time fishing with Matt from Matt Vavrock Fishing on YouTube. Definitely check him out. Lots of cool content. Was great to have him up in Sunset Country. I'm going to break down both of his fish because they break down almost identical. Both spots are very similar. It's an island or a rock that's out of the water with some kind of rocks that are either just under the water or slightly exposed. But the two main keys here is we have lake current running across and we have deep water on the outside. We have wind pushing from the northwest into this area and we have a little bit shallower on the backside. And both of these fish were sitting basically right in that area where you have submerged rocks off of the main island or rock in the second uh, fish that he caught. And they were facing up into the current. We, in both cases, we had the boat kind of down from it. And we cast up into that area. And both fish hit right away when, not exactly when it hit the water, but right away, right off of those rocks. So what we're looking for in a spot like that is those fish kind of positioned so that they're looking up into the wind. Ideally, I would like to pull baits the other direction so it looks more natural as a bait kind of coming downwind, down current. But because of the wind and because of the layout of the land, we're going to be on the top side casting into it. So that's how we always attack a spot like that. So when you guys are on shield lakes, look for these type of spots that have access to deep water on one side, shallow. Maybe that's a saddle to mainland or to another island. And look for the wind to be kind of blowing the same direction as the current, then you have a nice push onto a spot like that. And in a spot like that, those fish are always gonna position themselves looking up into the current and into the wind. And like we've talked about a lot, look on the top side or the windswept side. And if you don't see them there, spin around and look on that leeward side where they might be hiding out of the wind and you guys will catch more fish up on the shield lakes. <laughs> oh, he's off. 
Jude. Son of a... That was cool, though. Yeah, that was cool, though. That's probably the one there. That was pretty interesting. Oh, there he is, right there. That's something. That's something else. I was just going to start scooping right here because I was like, oh, easy, you got her on. Just let go of your hand bomb. <laughs> I guess. Uh... Oh my oh god! <laughs> Are you effing kidding me? <laughs> what the fuck just oh. <laughs> oh my god, dude. What on earth? I got it. <sighs> Are you effing kidding me? What the hell just happened? <laughs> what? What the hell just happened, Matt? Uh, I don't know. I just lost one in the figure eight and then Glenn just smoked another one. I, it's not the same fish. No, it's not. The one he had hit was a regular muskie. Yeah. We got a nice tiger in here. Matt and I were just talking. He's like, yeah, lots of guys are on the tube train, but he's like, I just haven't been able to do it. And I'm like, they hit on the pause. I seen a little boil, I cast out. And I'm like, oh, I got him. We come racing in, Matt's right there with the net. The thing took a couple little runs. He was actually peeling drag. And I think as he peeled drag, I clicked the thumb bar down to thumb him. And then it wouldn't engage again because I think he was pulling drag at the same time. And I was, Matt's like, what, what's going on here? And I'm like, I, I don't know, but the fish was still on. I'm like, we're hand bombing a tiger muskie into the net. And that's what we did, Matt. We got it. So we're gonna get this thing unhooked. <laughs> And we'll be back. <laughs> okay, guys, let's see what we got here. You can't really see, but we got the tiger on the old tube. All right, looks pretty good. She's playing nice in the net, which usually means she's going to play angry when I grab her. But I'm telling you guys, this is the kind of tiger muskie that you come to Canada for this is a real deal one oh she's got a head on her like a Mack truck <laughs> okay that's better for me girl all right here we go holy smokes dude incredible incredible fish 42 and a half? 42 and a half. Incredible. Oh, there's a melon on her. It's just silly, dude. She is Incredible. thick and heavy. Incredible that fish. That is a beauty of a fish. I'm telling you guys, anytime you can catch a fish like this, this is like something else. Matt and I are on a day today. We're gonna keep this going. Get this girl back. What a fish. Let's get you this way, girl. Oh, you're ready, aren't you? <laughs> there she goes. Well, Matt. Insane, dude. We're on a day. <laughs> I don't know what to even say. Like, <laughs> that was straight up bananas. And we got plenty of time. So we're going to be back right away. Right there guys, that's the Canadian sunset and when you have a crappy night, that's usually the shot you post on social media, but alas, we caught fish. Matt got his biggest Canadian muskie to date I, and I just want to thank Matt for coming up and fishing with us. And you guys check him out, Matt Vavrock Fishing, I'll have a link below. It was fun sharing the boat with you Matt. Just what's your What's your thoughts on the day? 
Uh, it's just beautiful up here. My God, like this lake is just bananas. We caught tigers, we caught normal muskies. We had fish in the figure eight that didn't stick. It's just like everything you could want for from a musky day in like one afternoon slash evening. It's just a blast. I can't thank Glenn enough for having me in the boat today. It's just been, it's been really cool and just so much fun. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a good day. We had a few heartbreaks. I had one go, get off that was probably 45, 46. And I told Matt, I'm like, there's no point getting upset over stuff like that. You just keep casting. And we did, and we got more fish after that. So it, it just, you just got to keep going, guys. Never get down on yourselves. There we go, the old tube, got her done again. Gotta love that kind of stuff. Just done, Glenn. <clears throat> just, just stupid. Okay guys, epilogue to the episode. Turns out the close was premature, right Matt? It finally worked. <laughs> so we, we, we are back. <laughs> We're back. I got another one on the tube. I'm not surprised at all. Those things catch fish like, you know, the big kids on the Smarties. I, what, use whatever analogy you want. If you guys don't believe in tubes, you're just not a musky angler. Matt's seen it today. Matt's going to try tubes from now yeah, on. I need some tubes. It's just been a bananas type of day. We've just been, it's just been a crush for it, us. It's been unreal. So I'm going to hand the camera over to Matt. I'm going to get this one unhooked. We'll have a look at it. We'll be right back. It's a little bit tangled up, so I'm not going to do it again. But it's it's just, it's red October 2, man. Grab yourself one. Easy, girl. Really nice fish, dude. Nice way to cap off the day. Five fish. We'll take that. We'll cast this spot out. Maybe we uh, get another epilogue to the episode. <laughs> oh, we'll take that, eh, Matt? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a gorgeous fish, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, let's get her back. Okay. See you later, girl. There she goes. <laughs> well, Excellent guys, work, sir. I, I don't often get speechless musky fishing, and I know these are not huge fish but to come out here share the boat with matt get him on my home waters where we do our stuff get him to kind of realize how much fun we have in northwestern ontario you guys you guys have to visit sunset country it's just a special kind of place and we love having everybody up here so for all our audience and all of matt's audience I just don't know what to say. It's just been a freaking awesome day. I'll leave it at that. And for another video where Dave and I had the kind of day that people dream about coming to Canada, check out the link right here. And for me and for Matt, we're out of here. 54 bus will catch you guys out on the water later.